on a toy channel dominated by action figures. Today's episode, we bring to you dolls, including Dusty Cabbage Patch Kids, John Wayne, a creepy clown, some lady dressed like a bride, and clothes, doll clothes, more doll clothes, more doll clothes, Barbie, and an airplane. All right, guys, John here, Sergeant Reds. A lot of you asked, where are the dolls? We saw you pull out dolls. A lot of you asked about Barbie, so I dug out several bins. It's probably not everything, but uh, we have some uh, some bins here that are Barbie and doll-centric. So we're going to go through some of this stuff. So uh, stick around, and we're going to talk about dolls. He ain't supposed to be there. <laughs> All right, everybody, here's the dolls, all right? We're going to go through the stuff that I had out first, um, just since it's out and it's easy to get to, and then we'll go through um, these bins. So, first off, obviously, the good guy Chucky doll. This is uh, from Spirit Halloween. This wasn't in the house. I just thought it would be funny to toss old Chucky in there next to his uh, clown friend here. So, what we have here is we have um, F&B. We have a couple of those. We have uh, John Wayne here. I'm going to try to get him where you can see inside because of the glare from the lights. But um, that is John Wayne, American Guardian of the West. He's probably, he's got to be, what, 20 inches tall? And then we have this clown here. This is the tag on him. I can see it on the inside. You guys probably can't see it, but it just says clown. So I'm assuming it doesn't represent any uh, fictional character. It's just him. And then we have uh, Ma West here, Mae West. All right. Up next, we have Shirley Temple. Oh, wait. Where would I be if I didn't talk about the Dusty Cabbage Patch Kid? We found probably about, I want to say 13 Cabbage Patch dolls um, inside of there. This one here is a little dusty. Some of the, the packaging's wrinkled up. 1985. But, um, yeah, Cabbage Patch Kids. My sister had a bunch of them when we were kids. I always wanted the Mr. T one. They had a Mr. T one, which I never got. But, um, do you remember they had, like, the, not riots, but they had, like, the, the people were fighting and stuff over Cabbage Patch Kids inside the stores when those things first came out? It's crazy stuff. My sister probably had a couple of them. Um, I doubt my mom and dad fought over them to get them in the store, though. And then we have all these Shirley Temple dolls. So these are all from Ideal, and they're from the 80s. 82, I believe, is the date on most of them here. Not a really big Shirley, not a big Shirley Temple guy. I mean, um, I know who she is, and I've probably seen a couple of her movies, or at least parts of them. I think the only one I can actually think of is the Good Ship Lollipop song, which I think was probably one of her like most famous ones. I don't know that I've actually seen the movie that was in, but I've probably heard it on parodies, um, on cartoons or whatnot. But So yeah, we have all these Shirley Temple dolls. And guys, all this stuff is going to be... Um, what I'm doing with this is I'm cleaning everything up, and um, I'm getting it all inventory to price, and it's going to be in our shop for the grand opening. So um, I'm trying to have a little bit of everything in the shop for when people come in. Um, most of the stuff I have over the years has been um, action figures and whatnot, so... There's a good bit of dolls here, so I do want to have um, stuff in the shop for everybody, not just stuff that I like. So, um, this stuff will be uh, in the shop on our grand opening. So, these are the ones that have the eyes that open and close. That eye, she has like a lazy eye on that one. And this one here. Little Shirley Temple doll. And let's see here. We have this uh, bride doll I found. And she just wasn't in the bin. I'm not sure who she is. Um, she's, you know, got the sleepy eyes. And again, I've never bought doll collections. I've never played with dolls. I mean, action figures. Some people call them dolls, but you never know. Um, so I'm not really 100% familiar with these. I have a lot of research to do, on, especially these loose ones. Um, a lot of these could be just generic dolls. Um, but pretty neat. And it's good, like I said, to have something in the shop for everybody, not just stuff that I'm going to appreciate. So... Without further ado, Chucky here is going to uh, get out of town, and we're going to start going through some of these bins. Okay, let's, so let's go through some uh, some dolls here, some toys. So right off the bat, you can see we have some Barbies. Um, we have some Cher clothing. Um, Amanda Jane. So again, I'm not super familiar with any of this stuff, really. I mean, I know Barbies came out in, what, the late 50s, like 59, 60. Um, I've never heard of Amanda Jane. So, I'm assuming this is just doll clothes. I don't know. It's 
It's made in England. Amanda Jane is apparently a... Let's see, a range of lovely outfits especially designed for Amanda, your Amanda Jane doll. So I'm assuming there's a doll called an Amanda Jane. Or that's the brand, so... I'm not sure if we have any of those in here. Probably, I'm assuming, since we have these. But there's a couple different outfits in here. And these things cost... Let's see... No, there's no tag. They took the tag off, but they were from Jacobson's back in the day. So I'm assuming Amanda Jane dolls are probably similar in size to Barbie, based on the size of this clothing. Um, but again, not super familiar with dolls. Uh, guys and gals, this is something I do need to learn. Like I said, I'm trying to have a good selection of everything for everybody. I've been in some stores that they really, you can tell it's just like what the owner appreciates and likes. And I don't want to have a shop like that. I want to have a shop where anyone that comes in, you know, is possibly going to find something that they like. Um, and again, I like learning, so I have no problem learning about these things. Uh, we have the Italian Barbie here. So she's a little dusty. I mean, there's a lot of this stuff's just covered in dust. Uh, that little girl's room, for some reason, was super dusty. I don't know why that room was dusty. The entire house was dusty, but comparatively, that room was just... It was it was crazy how much dust was in there. So, um, we found a bunch of Cher dolls. I think there's a bunch. I mean, I, I want to say we found a couple Sunny and a couple Cher, and then we found that stage. So, But there is some of the clothes here. This is a, a Vagabond look, I guess. And these are from Mego. This is, has to be from the late 70s, I would imagine. 1976, so we have that. So here's the box to the Western Barbie. So this is going to be the hard part for me is trying to figure out, like when I find the loose dolls, which one is actually the Western Barbie, because don't they all pretty much look the same unless you change, you know, except for the clothes? So you could change the clothing. I don't know, like I said. Um, if there's a trick, let me know in the comments below. That would be great. Now the ones that are obviously mint in the box um, are going to be easier. So we have the Hispanic Barbie here. And what are these? These are all probably from the 80s, I would imagine. 79. So, that era. Whoa. So, hot skating Barbie. It doesn't look like she's been opened up, but it looks like the skates maybe broke free um, somehow. So we have the rollerblades and the ice skates on her. What is this one from? 94. I was going to say, I don't think rollerblades were hot until like the 90s, so... It's funny to see the different eras of, like, just toys in this mix. You have stuff from the late 70s, stuff from the early 90s. Pet Dr. Barbie. I doubt this works. Let's check. Nope. Unfortunately, the batteries are probably dead. KB Toys. Back in uh, the day, this was $17.99. Cut down to $14.99. So. My daughter loves playing with dolls. Her, her room, she's just, there's dolls everywhere. Um, so there's just some clothes. And here's the Barbie from Scotland. Again, that one looks like it's been opened up, but at least it's still in the box. And I'm assuming by the clothing she's wearing that she is actually the, uh, Scotland version of Barbie. Here's one from France. Parisian Barbie. Looks like it has some uh, little French, I guess, whatever language on the back. Let me see the Scottish one. Yeah, they have um, basically a translator there, so you can learn some stuff as you play. This is the Arctic Barbie. Our Arctic Barbie here is not uh, open, but she's the Eskimo version here. So we have Bionic Woman here from the toy outlet. She was $4.88 on clearance. That's cool. I have some of the $6 million man figures too. Um, they're pretty cool. And is this the same one? Oh, this is a different one. So this one, she's wearing a green dress with a new mission purse. So I guess we're at the three three different versions of her according to that all right what else do we have in here some more barbie and an old toys r us bag so we saved a lot of these bags pretty much all of them we found if they weren't ripped or destroyed beyond uh, use 
So part of my plan in the shop is I want you to feel like you're walking back in time. So I'm going to take some of these old um, bags, like the Toys R Us, KB Toy, some of the different stores, and I'm going to frame them, and I'm going to have them on the wall. So when you come in, you're like, you know, if we have three different eras of Toys R Us bags, um, you, you'll see one, but wow, I remember that when I was a kid. That's the whole point of our shop, is I want you to come in, and I want you to, like, just remember... Um, when you were a kid, simpler time in life for most of us. Um, you know, just see those things that brings you back. What do we have here? We have the Oriental Barbie. And you could learn, uh, I don't know if that's Japanese or what. This is not a talking doll. And we have the Barbie from India here, so that India Barbie. We have the Olympic Gymnast Barbie. Uh, that's from 1996, so the 1996 Olympics. Uh, which one here? Winter Sports... Sports... Diver? Oh, this is in multiple languages. Okay. I don't know what that other language is. And we have the teacher Barbie here. Comes to the little kids. Looks like some real chalk in there, maybe. And that's like I was saying, if you're a kid that you know dream, dreams of being a teacher, you can get the teacher Barbie. If you want to be a gymnast, you can get the gymnast Barbie, pet doctor Barbie. Whatever. Let's see here. We got a receipt from Toys R Us. Um, let's see what this is for. This is for the Olympic Barbie and the uh, Snow Winter Sports Barbie. Uh, it's from August 1st, 1996. You know where I was August 1st, 1996? I was at Paris Island getting yelled at by drill instructors. So, uh, I did not buy that. So we have the gold medal skier Ken. Now this looks older than that other uh, Olympic. Authorized by U.S. Olympic Committee under public law. This one looks older. This has got to be from the 70s. That other one was 96, so maybe this one. I don't know. Where's the date? I don't see a date on this one. Yep, 1974 right there. So I guess this was from uh, the 74 Olympics. And last but not least, we have... Um, the U.S. Olympic star, best in the world, Barbie Skater. It looks like that thing popped out of the little tab there, but it doesn't appear that it's been opened or anything. Some of these got beat up. Just, I mean, you guys saw that house, how stuff was laying around in there. So it wasn't necessarily kept in the best uh, way. So, all right, let me get this stuff uh, swiffered off and cleaned up. I'm going to throw it back in this box, and um, we'll move on to the next one. This is the big box that was on the bottom. I thought the second box was all Barbie. It looked like it was a good mix of stuff. So I'll finish going through this since this looks like it's all dolls. And then we will head back to that second box, which has some Barbies that look like inside of it. Um, but it had some other stuff in there, too. It looks like stuff from the front closet. So we'll go through this one first, keep it all kind of in line. So I know we found this. Um, this remote control vet. I don't know what box we stuck it in. Again, like I said, there's so much stuff in that house. So much stuff everywhere that it, we tried to sort and organize stuff as we were going. But unfortunately, you know, with different people in different rooms and stuff in different rooms um it wasn't all like all the barbie stuff was in the little girl's room it was all over the house we found the the blueprints for the uh terror drone in the kitchen so kind of crazy so that's neat a little remote control uh corvette looks like the box is just flattened it looks like it should go back into shape it doesn't really look ripped so that's good so guys if you're enjoying the content and enjoying the channel if you're watching if you could hit the subscribe button that'd be great and um, we really appreciate it if people subscribe comment and hit that like button um and even share the channel if you like it we appreciate it helps the channel grow so looks like we have some more um just various dolls in here including some barbie so we have these wizard of oz dolls this one is the cowardly line i don't think he's been opened i just think it's kind of there he is so some of these stickers uh, well that one might just pop right off i was gonna say sometimes you need to use a hair dryer to get these off and if it wasn't covering the guy's face, I probably wouldn't even bother to try, but uh, there we go. Now you can see them. I might actually save some of those older stickers, too, the bigger ones, just to kind of have a display, like I said, of, of stuff. I don't remember Toy Outlet. I have no idea what it is. Um, but 
someone else might. So, what is this thing here? Well, this guy's been open because the paper's covering his face, so let's see what we have. It is a clown marionette. Pelham puppets, it looks like. I don't know when this is from or what era this is. Let's see here. It's from Jacobson's. 12 bucks. Yeah, so, ooh, conditions of sale. Look at this. That's interesting. This puppet may not be used for commercial purposes without written consent from Pelham Puppets. That's crazy. You think you bought it as yours. I mean, I guess they don't want you performing with it. That's weird. I've never seen that on a toy before. So, I'm not using it, Pelham Productions or Pelham Puppets, if you're still in business. I'm just showing it off. So, calm down. All right. So, we've got Olympic Skater Ken. This is, uh, again, this looks like a newer one, like maybe from the 90s. Um, yeah. 96, I think it is. Probably that's when the other one was from. Nope, 97, so. Now, it's weird, because the, the kids that live there, um, you know, they're, they're probably a little older than me, so I don't know if Grandma continued to collect stuff or if she collected stuff. I don't know. Um, some people have asked how the house was in the condition it was in. The, the family had been going back and forth there in and out. I'm, I'm assuming they've taken stuff. I know they took stuff because they said they wanted to get some stuff out of there um, before I started going through it all. So it was, you know, stuff that I was not interested in. So they, they did take some items out of there. Um, but I'm sure they've been in and out over the last decade um, because it wasn't in horrible shape. Well, that's cool. Got a G.I. Joe guy. I have to take that out and stick it with the Joes when I get to that tote. So we have some of these Argang uh, Amigo dolls. So we got alfalfa here. And I know we have the clubhouse um, somewhere as well. We got Mickey. I didn't find any superhero amigos in that entire house. Um, I think we found the My uh, my Gang one here. Or, our, or My Gang. Our Gang. And uh, we found like a Starchkin and Hutch and the Fonz. But I didn't find any like superhero amigos. All right, so we have McDonald Land characters. This is from what's that, Kmart? Uh, I think so. Yeah, nineteen seventy. Okay, these are Remco or seventy. My eyesight is failing me. Seventy six. So, I forget what video we were talking about. Something I couldn't remember if it was a. Uh, oh, I was talking with Juan when he bought those toys in, and he was talking about McDonald Land characters, and I couldn't. We couldn't remember if it was Amigo or Remco, but it is Remco um, toys that those are from. So. I actually have the train set I picked up somewhere along the way. I don't remember where it came from. So we have Dukes of Hazard here. We have Luke. Now he was in a bag, or was in a box with uh, bags of stuff that was never, it was still in like the, the Kmart bag from the day, back in the day. So that was pretty cool to find that. But the best one from that box, if you guys remember watching that video, was that uh, Imperial Troop Transport that was still in the bag with a receipt. We have Spanky. It looks like me. Oops. And Porky. I should probably introduce my kids to uh, our gang, Little Rascal stuff. I'm sure they'd enjoy it. My son, he's been watching Tom and Jerry. He cracks up watching that. So we have another one of these Pelham Puppets, uh, Mickey Mouse version. Um, Bump Toe Clogs, Derm. An empty box. Uh, I don't know. I might have that doll somewhere. Like I said, I have a couple totes that we just put all the dolls in. There were just boxes of loose dolls upstairs we found. Dolls and stuffed animals. So. Alright, here's another Wizard of Oz. Is that one going to come off too? Yeah, those things, uh, that's good. I'm glad I don't have to do anything crazy because sometimes you'll hit it with the hairdryer and it doesn't work. But that is one way to get the tags off. Is uh, You can hit it with some heat and a lot of times it'll come off. Or you can just breathe on it. Uh, sometimes the humidity, I guess, will uh, get them to peel off. All right, Super Hair Barbie. That's pretty super. She is from 86. So my sister had Barbies. I remember her having Barbies. I don't remember her, like, playing with them, though. Really, I mean, I guess she had Cabbage Patch dolls, and she had other dolls. I don't really, I mean, I guess she had them. Spring Petals Barbie. This is an Avon special. They had tons of Avon stuff in that house. So that's pretty cool. 
I'll have to show that to Juan. He was a uh, he used to work for Avon. If you guys watched the video, Juan is a guy who's uh, I actually met him buying some toys from him. He's a pretty nice guy. But whenever he finds toys and things of that nature, he uh, brings them over and I buy them from him. We have the English Barbie here, royalty Barbie. Yes, your highness. These ones are still in the bag, brand new. What's this one here? This is Tubbo the Hippo soap dish from Avon. Yeah, he's in there. I'm not going to open it up. Alright, so these ones are newer. It looks like they're in a Target bag. Olympic US skating. These are probably from the 90s as well. 97, I'd imagine. You'd think I would remember where I was seeing the dates on these things. Yeah, 1997 on that one. And I'm assuming that's the exact same one there. So she's probably going to be uh, the same. So yeah, I don't know if um, the grandma just kept buying stuff down the road. I mean, there wasn't a ton of new stuff in there. There was some stuff from the 90s, but in 96, they would have been older than me at the time. And I would have been, what, 18, 19 years old. So I'm not sure what the deal is. I have very limited um, history on the place. Got a little dolly there. Let's see. I take this in the light to look. It says, uh, made in Hong Kong, and that's it. So that's the thing, a lot of these dolls, I'll look at them and they have nothing. There's no information. It just says made in Hong Kong or made in Taiwan or China or wherever. And I don't see a like a maker's mark, like Mattel or anything. It's just like, all right, your guess is as good as mine. That's cool. A little Tonka uh, fun buggy. Like I said, everything in these aren't necessarily dolls. It's just the majority of it looked like dolls when I opened up the, the, uh, the totes there. All right, this is holiday slippers. Okay, we got Marie Osmond here. Ooh, what's that? That looks like it goes to a. I don't know what that goes to. It's not GI Joe. And I'm pretty sure that doesn't go to uh, Donnie or Marie Osmond. It's kind of like rubbery. Um, Almost like a Ninja Turtle belt. It's not a Ninja Turtle belt. There's no Ninja Turtles in the house, but it's funny. You just keep finding like random stuff stuffed in random places. And that again, guys, is another reason it's going to take me a long time to kind of get sorted through all this stuff we have here. Uh, let's see. Darcy's World. Is Darcy like a Kenner ripoff of Barbie? I have no idea who Darcy is. She looks just like Barbie to me, but she's Kenner and Barbie's Mattel. Weird. Um, yeah, some more Darcy paperwork. I'm sure there's some Darcy dolls in here. I just gotta find them and put that with them. And what do we have here? What's this? Looks like some kind of G.I. Joe accessory. I'm trying to keep all that stuff separate so I can put it in with all the Joe stuff as we get sorted through but this stuff is I mean you can see my hands are dusty this stuff just went straight from uh, that house we have Donny Osmond there brand new down here. it's Barbie's vacuum cleaner that is an actual Barbie vacuum cleaner I don't want to open that there's probably dust in it so we have the uh, like I said, some stuff just got stuck in boxes because it, it was it was had an opening and it was uh, somewhere we could put it. So, gotta have a couple boxes here. They're in pretty decent shape, just uh, broken down to be stored, which is nice. So here is a uh, bicycling Stacy. She's brand new. She was in the Target bag. It's probably I imagine it looks like it's the same as the other one, probably nineties, yeah, ninety six. So I'm gonna have to get back up with the. Uh, grandson who's the one who's dealing with the estate and asked him you know why there was stuff from the 90s when i asked him why there were so many toys he said a lot of it was just stuff from when they were kids and his grandma liked to spoil them. now i don't know if that was all there initially i know they lived next door at some point so i don't know if they just use the house for storage i have no idea um this just says baby baby it's like just baby clothes but it says, Baby Baby from Sears, $4.99. Uh, 
And I don't see a date on it. And then there's this thing, which probably goes with some Barbie accessory. That's the other issue I'm going to have is with the clothes. There is a just a box or whatever those uh, foot lockers or whatever of Barbie clothes. And I guess, how do you figure out what Barbie clothes is what? You know, it's just like it's clothes to me. Anyways, I know if it was G.I. Joe weapons, I could go look it all up. But uh, so we have Cher and Sonny. And again, guys, most of this stuff is going to be at the store's grand opening. I want to have a good selection for when we open up. So um, a lot of the stuff you see here is not going to be for sale online right now. Um, so I can have inventory stocked in the shop. So we have some share clothing. Looks like just a bunch of different share clothes. And it will be for sale online eventually. I just want, when I open up, I need to have inventory, obviously, guys. That's Space Prince Sunny. That's pretty cool. I'd wear that. And Private Eye, Sonny. Um, what's that say? Charles? Charlie? I can't tell what... Uh, I'm assuming it says Charlie. Um, looks like just a generic doll. I don't know who made that. Oh, Durham. Are they the ones that made those puppets that I'm not allowed to play with? Hold on, does this have a does this have a warning? 1976. Mm, no, I can use this for uh, what did it say? I can use this for commercial purposes. I don't know if it's the same company. But then we have Dorothy Hell skate performance outfits. So just these bins here. This isn't all of the Barbie dolls. These are just the ones that I was. Uh, able to get to. A lot of this stuff is in storage. Um, stacked up in bins. And I'm trying to go through it all and get it all uh, inventoried and cleaned up. Like I said, I mean, I can't throw it on the shelf covered in dust. So, alright, let me get this one uh, packed back up and then we'll go to that last bin, which is a good mix of uh, stuff it looked like. I almost forgot. Almost forgot I had a couple of these uh, fashion doll trunks. So... This is the thing that is going to be the most difficult for me, guys. How do you figure out like, what this goes to? And is, there a, is there a website like for doll clothes? I know there's one for G.I. Joe stuff, and there's one for Star Wars stuff. And I'll just have to look. But if you know of a good one, let me know. Because this stuff, there's just tons of it. Like, what goes with what? You got jeans, you got leggings, slacks, boas. Is that cowboy pants? You got some chaps. So if there's any uh, Barbie experts out there and you can point me in the direction of some way to uh, figure this stuff out, that would be fantastic. Because this stuff is just totally foreign to me. I have no idea. Oh, wait, that one at least says Barbie on it. Does it say what? Barbie fashion. That's all it says. So some of this stuff might be hand-knit. I don't know. I know we did find some crochet stuff. But I don't know if it's Barbie, if it's Skipper, if it's freaking Sonny and Cher, or... What was the other one? The Barbie knockoff, or like the Kenner version? Dynamite? What's her name? Dinah? So... Just tons of this stuff, guys. A couple more dolls in here. Like I said, is, how do you figure out, you know, other than there's a date on there, I'd imagine, but I have some research cut out for me with Barbies. So I might find a local Barbie expert and uh, hire them to, to go through this stuff for me or something. So lots of Barbie clothes. All right, and there's one more of these trunks. So... I think there's another one somewhere, but these are the ones that I found with the uh, Barbie dolls. So that is just nothing. This one doesn't have very much in it, guys. It's just um, Glamour US. Glamour US. Ha, huh, get it. Uh, again, I don't know if this is Barbie, if this is... That's not Barbie. Who's this? You know, most of the time I've been finding names and stuff on their lower back and... This might just be some kind of generic doll. 
So it looks like a brat style with those big ol' eyes. What is this? Iced tea, lemonade. Those are like doll bottles. Um, I have to figure out what all this stuff goes to. This is gonna this is gonna take a while. So, a Barbie purse. All right. Well, let's move into this last box of uh, miscellaneous stuff here and see what we got. All right. Dun 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 dun. All right, so I think this is the stuff we found in that front closet um, and down in that area. Because I do remember finding this Care Bear down there. So we have a couple hats in here. What do we have? OP. Um, Ocean Pacific. All right. Let's separate the clothes here. Like I said most of the clothing we have I ended up selling uh, to a local reseller. But the stuff that's in here, I'll have to look up. So Precision National Bowling Green 1984. And uh, St. Al's, it's a local school. And a couple of Sherwin William uh, painter's caps. Alright. Uh, let's see here. So, this isn't all doll stuff, obviously, guys, like I was saying. Uh, we got a couple of Mickey Mouse books. Lady and the Tramp. Winnie the Pooh. The Blustery Day. So, we have a. Micronauts Gamatron here. Doesn't look like it's ever been opened. Well, it's been opened, but it's never been played with. So we got the Kmart bag. Like I said, this is just, uh, you know, I'll probably save one of each bag or something along those lines and frame them and, and see how they look. Probably not every single Kmart bag, every every single Toys R Us bag, but maybe just a good mix just to kind of have a little nostalgic throwback when you come in the shop. So, like I said, guys, I want it to feel like you're walking back in time. I want you to get memories of when you were younger, um... When you come in, I don't want it to just be like a boring just a store. I want it to be like that experience. So that's what we're aiming for. Um, Spellbound. I have no idea what that game is about, but it cost. Uh, ooh, it was on clearance, five ninety eight. A little stand that is. Oh, it says something on it. What's it say? Can't see it. It's ideal Tuesday. It says Tuesday Taylor. So that's a stand for some Tuesday Taylor doll. I gotta figure out who she is or he is. Uh, the Great Muppet Caper. $5.95. Woo! Wait, it's cheaper at Toys R Us. Space Discovery. It's kind of like a little curve to them, a little curvature. I'll try to straighten those out by setting them up with some heavier stuff on top. Star Wars Storybook. These are like basically brand new books, man. I mean, they're... They're nice. Okay. So if you guys watched the video, you'll remember when I pulled out these. Well, let's take a better look. This is Princess uh, Nisa. It's an Ewok stuffed figure. It's pretty nice. I'm glad these were in bags because they were probably extremely dusty. Are they both the same? Nope. We got another one here. Uh, we have no tag. His tag is missing. I think that's Wicket. Let's see if there's a tag in the bag. Um, negative. There is no tag in said bag. But there is a couple he walks in a bag, but he's brand new too. It's just his tag is uh, missing. So those are in really nice shape. Where's this from? Uh, something Fairly Town Center? What's that say? I can't even read that. J. I have no clue, guys. Hijinx, okay. So we got a Care Bear doll. A little bit of a little bit of dirt on his hand there. So I don't see a tag. I don't know if this is brand new, if it was just stored in that uh there's a dead roly poly. There's dead something or another. So is that a legit Care Bear? Kinda looks like doesn't look like a Care Bear. I mean it looks like a Care Bear, but it's like a knockoff or something. Maybe I'm going crazy. I don't know. All right. Back in the bag with you, buddy. Maybe I'm used to the new ones I bought for my kids. Um, so this was this was what I saw. Empty Barbie box. We have Boggle. Looks like all the pieces in there. Actually, I'll set that aside. I mean, 
they still make bulk, but my son is starting to love like doing all these word games and everything like that, and it's like we've been doing like spelling stuff, so I'll set that aside. We'll, we'll give that a go. So we got Who Am I? Ugh. Yeah, this stuff is just really nasty and dusty, some of it. We have 101 marbles. I'm not going to count those. There might be 102. There might be 100. There might be 93. I don't know. So here's a Toys R Us bag. So this is like one of the ones I'll probably frame. I think that one's really neat with the uh, Jeffrey and family on there. Um, so we have this little basket. Uh, I don't know what that... I mean, it's an Easter basket or something, I think. It's... Just generic. It's pretty cool. It's a dollar eighteen at Toys R Us back in the eighties. And then we have some Knickerbocker dolls here. She's upside down. We'll take care of that. Sunbonnet babies. So I've never heard of Sunbonnet babies. Again, it's just uh, dolls weren't something I really played with, and I've really never bought them or looked for them. But now that we're having the shop, I'd rather have. Where you come in, there's something you might remember. And it's just something for everybody, not just, uh, you know, stuff that I enjoyed when I was younger. So, Sunbonnet Babies. There you have it. I think this was the only um, strawberry shortcake we found in there. Was this one in the closet? I'm assuming she was open at some point because she's loose in there. But she's still in the box. We have a blueberry muffin. And uh, a pen. Or some kind of prescription medicine. We have May, Sunbonnet Baby, and last but not least, we have May. Wait a second. So they played with one May, and this May got no love, and she stayed in the box. So, anyways, guys, that is it for the um, the dolls that we have out. I mean, that's not necessarily it for the dolls. There's more of them, but uh, this was the stuff that was in these bins that we grabbed. So we're going to keep doing these little uh, videos, kind of show you guys what we have. So let us know... Uh, out of the stuff you saw here, which doll is your favorite? If you were a doll connoisseur back in the day, um, out of all the stuff here, I would have to say my favorite and would probably be those uh, Ewoks because they're Star Wars and I never really played with dolls other than um, I wanted the Mr. T Cabbage Patch doll, but never got it. I think he was one of the ones that was impossible to get. I lied. I forgot Barbie's friendship. So this thing here is basically a carrying case, and it opens up into an airplane. Whoa. You have the cab in there. You got the little, uh, little plug for United. That's pretty cool. I mean, at least the case was something, uh, you know, was it something that you could uh, use to play with. You got that fella there. This doesn't look like it's been used. I mean, all the stuff's in here unpunched for the most part. So, we got the manual here. Yes, we do. Barbie's Friendship. So, cool. That looks like it was bought and just, like, uh, never really used. I don't know if this came in a box or if this is how it came. Probably in a box, but... All right, guys. Well, that's it. All right, guys. So, let us know how you enjoyed the doll extravaganza. Like I said, I'm getting through this stuff. There's, like, eight trailers worth of stuff. Um, a lot of it needs cleaning and sorting and inventorying, um, but we're trying to get through it all. And, uh, you know, let me know what you thought about the dolls. What was your favorite doll? Put it in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, hit that notification bell to get the notifications. And uh, we'll see you next time.